Hello everyone, Misty Vell here, coming back just with some gameplay. Um, just gonna play on one of my uh, earlier saves. I think we're gonna go. Uh, uh, I don't know, because we're only a couple of days apart. Eh, I don't know. Okay, we'll go with this one. All right. Oh, you want me to buy a second horse? I think I just did that. Um, didn't I? Let's check on our crops. Wow, the music just dropped. So I only have some orchard grass. It's because we have to go visit Aisha. Um, I don't... Wait, I don't think... If you hit R, it'll bring you to... Oh, I do have carrot seeds. So you just hit, oops. <laughs> orchard grass. I don't use the orchard grass, but I do plant it. So I don't know that I put anybody out in the pasture. No, but one thing I will show you, because I don't have any of my pastures, my other pastures open. But you see this cross rail here? You can kind of walk up it and get into the next area. Sometimes there's resources over here. Apparently not today. Then you can go. This is where the gates are going to be. So you can kind of walk up it. Oh, there's stuff in this one. So we're going to walk up and grab this. I don't think you can walk up these. No, you can't. But can you walk up? No, not on this side. So you have to be on the other side. Um, not back here, but there is resources over here sometimes. No, not today. There are resources over here, but these areas where the gates are going to be, you can just kind of slide up them like that. Don't ask me how I found that out. I think it was an accident. Um, sometimes there's resources around these these two trees here. And sometimes there's resources right in here. You could like make a map and pin this. Sometimes there'll be some right here. There's some straw right here. Um, there's some, wow, two things of straw over here. And some, whoops, three, and a uh, apple. And grab it. And then another thing over here. And another apple. I was going to say, you didn't poop, but you did. So this is Cole. He's the horse I first bought. So he's got everything but his jump in his 20s, and he still has, um, he still has almost 30 potential left. Wow, we've got 29 trust. That's amazing. Alrighty then. All right, let's see. Ah, oh, yeah, this is the girl I bought yesterday. Um, she has terrible strat, uh, stats. and But she had amazing jump. I think that was what it was. Her jump was like 19. I was like, oh, well. I wasn't looking for another black horse, but she kind of popped up. Yeah, her flex is 9, jump is 19, endurance is 7, speed is 10. And we don't have any of the areas except Lupine Meadow open. Um, so we can't really... I don't think I have any... Yeah, I don't have any of the, the grains. Milo is for flex, weeds for jump, barley is for endurance... And corn is for speed. 
um, when you get those. Hang on, I'm going to noisily sip some coffee, pardon me. Or as quietly as I can. So let me, um, I'm going to train her. Even though I don't have any of those things, you can buy them from um, George. That's his name, the shop owner. Um, so what I'm going to do, since I have to go to Aisha anyway in Lupine Meadow, is I'm going to go to Lupine Meadow. Um, that's the best place to train for speed. So uh, we might as well train for flexibility, speed, and endurance all at the same time. Um, and I'll show you how I do that. It's You can do it however you want, but this is just how I do it. And it's if you get motion sickness, you may not want to watch um, because it involves going in a circle. So I apologize. Um, let's see, Jai has some stuff outside of his place. So. Auntie Blossom. That's an interesting name. Okay, so let's go visit Aisha. And I'll show you. Oof, she really doesn't have any any stamina. Okay, so I love the music in here. If you can hear it, it's so light and so bright. Now, when I first, before I started recording this, I did a test, and I could hear the music clearly. If you can't, let me know, because it's been going wonky. And so, also from Jai. Uh, I said you can buy jump courses for each area. This is one of them. Um, you see these jumps here. And it goes all through the entire area. There is no guide to tell you where they are. They just kind of are all over the place. So let's see if I... This is Aisha's home. Let's see if she's home. And she is home. This is her house. This is her shop. Um. So let's go up here. Hi, Aisha. I'm sorry I'm in your space. Yep, I already have farm plots. I've been planting. Now this... So you can't just plant any seed and expect it to turn out perfect. I'm going to show you why that's not exactly true. It's not a cheat. It has to do with fertilizer. This right here. There are more types of fertilizer you can use. So let me see. Shop. So if you scroll down, here are the four types of fertilizer. You have swift fertilizer. It will hasten the growth of your crops by one day. Rich fertilizer nourishes the soil and adds another crop to the yield. Shield fertilizer. This is the one I want to tell you about. A robust fertilizer that will protect your crops against harsh temperatures, allowing it to grow all year long. This is what you want if you want to be uh, a farmer and grow all of your crops, milo, barley, wheat, whatever, all throughout the year. This is what you buy. And you can plant, tip that I just remembered, you can buy or you can put all four fertilizers on every single crop at the same time. It's not where you can only put one fertilizer at a time. You can put all four fertilizers down on the same crop at the same time. So, also, the Lucky Fertilizer, which I will show you right now, is a mysterious fertilizer that brings up from the soil additional items when gathering crops. Now, these additional items can be seeds, money, and um, additional additional crops like if you usually get six barley you could get ten barley or it could be other crops um, I've gotten 
almost $800 sometimes when I've used this and I'm harvesting my crops, all of a sudden it's like plus $300, plus $400. And I'm like, wait, what just happened? So use all of these fertilizers, or you don't have to if you don't want to, because I know funds are low, but the shield fertilizer, you can use all year long on every single crop. And the lucky fertilizer, the swift takes a day off and the rich fertilizer. So I would recommend, um, she just gave us seeds. I would recommend, I'm gonna get a couple. Did I just buy corn? Wheat. I, I don't really need carrot seeds, but um, I'm gonna buy a, a couple of the Swift fertilizer. A couple of that. No, lucky. There we go. And yes, I am like killing my money. You can also buy all of these things from her, but you can switch this tab. Like I have 16 orchard grass, so I'm going to type that 16 in there and sell it. Um, I actually need more Timothy hay. I'm going to sell all my manure. I'm not going to sell this. So if I want to go here, that way I don't need, and then I can go back and leave. So we've completed that. Now I have to, <laughs> time to talk to Madeline after I train. All right, so you can't feed your horse anywhere. You have to only feed him at the barn. So she's already lost a, half her energy. But what I'm gonna do, and I'm going to show you a little bit of, um, so this is, can I jump down? Yep. Sometimes you can jump down. This is the edge of the plains. There's that lovely covered bridge over there. This is the, the farm that I used to shop. You can't steal these crops, but it looks lovely. Your farm will not look like this. <laughs> but I love these long, tall pines. It makes it look so elegant. Oh my God. Serendipity, what the heck, serendipity. I know I'm not live, but I'm recording. Thank you, my dear. That was a lovely shock. <laughs> Didn't realize I still had my, <laughs> my alerts on, oh my God. Okay, so <laughs> thank you, serendipity, honey. That was very sweet. So we're cantering, I'm gonna gallop. Again, don't lose your speed. I'm gonna let it sit. I'm gonna gallop. I'm gonna go back to canter. But look at the hills. So this is the place that that increases your speed. You can jump. I'm not gonna do that one because I can't get it. But these are the jumps again that you bought from Jai. Oop, and I did get an endurance. So you can train, so like I just got one point in speed. So when I wanna train in three things at once, flexibility, speed, and, and endurance, I'll use my left alt key so I can do free camera. I'm gonna go to a trot to start. I'm gonna hit my D key. So we're doing a trot. Then I'm gonna hit my W key and go to a canter. Then I'm gonna hit my, whoops, Hit my W key and go up to. She's almost out. Let me let me give her a, an apple so I can demonstrate this a little tiny bit. Okay, so all right, again we're in free camera mode. So hit the W, then hit the D or the A key. Go to speed for canter and then go to the gallop. Oops. What? <laughs> Oh my goodness. And I let it run out and I shouldn't. I I alternate. And this may get you dizzy and I'm sorry if it does. Um, I'm trying to find an angle where it doesn't get some motion sickness. See, I got a point in speed, a point in flexibility. You get points faster at this angle. Let me see if I can use this A and D. Okay, 
So we don't have any energy anymore. We just lost it all. But um, we're going to canter around because it's super pretty. I really like this area. That's the arena over here. Each area has an arena. This looks very Italian reminiscent to me. Oh look, we have oats. In the demo when I was playing it, each area has their own um, grain that you can find all around it. But in the demo, this used to be Milo. The flexibility, I'm gonna go back to mouse. Um, the one that you could always harvest was Milo. Now I haven't seen any of the areas with Milo. So I don't know if the Eloise decided to change that. And you can kind of see it off in the distance. Um, when you run out of energy, you can still canter, but you're not going to get any skill points for it. So let's look at what we did. So now we've got 18 speed up from, what was it, 5 or 6? Our endurance is still at 9. <laughs> our jump is still at 19, but our flexibility is up to 12. So it, it takes a bit to do the training, but it does help. Like, what was her speed? Her speed was 18. That's what we were focused on. So we, we spent the most points in speed. Um, I was hoping to get a couple of points of endurance. I think her endurance was like six early. Oh, I got oat seeds. Cool. Um, the entrance is over here behind these rocks. This over here, those trees, that's the maze, um, which you can see during the advanced race because you have to go through it. But I just love how cute this area is. It's such a pretty area. And there's some straw over there. That's the maze. There's nothing really in it at the moment. I'm hoping she put something in it. Like a little treasure chest or something. But it's super cute. You can you can go in and look at it. So let's go complete this quest with Madeline since we already bought our second horse. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, just doing some gameplay, looking at the areas, super cute. And then the statues are all in different locations. So in Rivershine, it's in the middle of the town. Here, it's right as you enter. Um, in Pine Forest and Crystal Lake, they're way far in the back or the middle of the thing. And you can always find it on the map, click it and click Start Guide, and then use your little guide arrows that'll be in front of the horse to, um, to go there. So she doesn't have any energy. She can't compete in any races, but we can try and go find Madeline. And... Uh, complete that quest since we just bought our horse yesterday. See if there's any more forgeables up here. Chase some chickens. Hello chickens. And if you hear a noise in the background that is our cat eating her breakfast. Oh Madeline, where are you honey? Oh there you are. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> I'm so bland. Here you go, Madeline. I'll try to stay out of your personal space. Your stable can fit two of them. Yes, I know. No? Okay. Let's let's talk to you again. Do you have anything? Okay, see this is this this is a thing. So when when you see local horse fenders under or increase, you'll have a whole list of them. You click on this, that's $1,250. Now, what she sells is an increased amount of horses that you can look at every day. This says you'll be able to look at up to 20 horses every day. Right now, I think you can only look at 10. So, um, 
keep that in mind. You don't have to spend all your money during the start at um, buying all the things that she sells. You can... I'm watching my cat. Boots? Girl? Why do you have to be such a little miscreant? Go, friend. Boots. Hey. Yeah, get off, dad. Get, no, get off ground. No, I don't even know what is. All right. So, don't worry about spending. Let me, let me get her. Hang on. She jumped into the, the chair from the other computer. She just wants pets now that she's finished her breakfast. Good girl. I know. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And you had breakfast, but there's nobody to play with. Poor kitty. Oh, my goodness. Her name is Boots. She showed up in her yard. And we took her in. Didn't you? Are you going to be feisty? Okay. Don't jump on anything. <laughs> okay, got an itch. All right. That's her scratching. All right, so I'm going to get my other horse, and I'm going to do some races, get some money back from what I just earned. And the way the quests work, I'm not in story mode. You can go into story mode. There, That's just like the easy, um, all the quests auto-complete. There's nothing wrong with that. Because some of these, for some people, there's it's, it's too much pressure, which is totally fine. Um, I love story mode. I've got one save where that's all I did was story mode. Um, and when I'm not in story mode, I've made it all the way up to the expert races. But that's after several playthroughs, not just like my first one. Okay. Yep, even their legs get dirty. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and actual horses, man. They are so sensitive. Come on, buddy. You get uh, real horses, and they, um, they... I love them to death. No, you can't get up here. No, ma'am. Lie down. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut this out of the video. You get real horses, and like the one that I had, I had one for six months, and he was awesome, but he did not want to be a trail horse or a teacher beginner, which is what I am. I used to ride years and years and years ago, but when you have a 20, 30 year gap, you lose what you don't use. And starting again in my early 50s with riding no you're not getting up there oh my goodness goodness gracious um i learned i ended up having a lot of fear because i knew what could happen and yeah it's it's not a good thing so i don't think he's quite ready for potential bootsy you're not getting up there no and if you make me lose the race, I'm going to be kind of upset with you. <laughs> See, we still have that one. So let's let's do this. Don't don't do it. Oh my goodness, cats! No. Okay. So one thing about races: don't let your energy run out. She's going to go back to the desk, that little vixen. Now you don't always have to follow the path. I'll show you. You can take shortcuts. Oh, cats. Oh, my goodness. Never let your energy run out. I'm going to reiterate that until I'm blue in the face. You don't have to follow the road. The other jump is here. You can jump down. I'm going to recover my energy. I know the other jump is over here. Oh, oh my god. 
I am gonna kick this kitty's butt. Excuse me. So I can cut through and cut at an angle. And before my energy runs out, I always stop to let it catch back up because I've got a couple of stretches here that are a little long, like this one. And you see that guide arrow there. So I start galloping, then I stop. Oh, this cat. Oh my gosh. Kitties. No, oh, I came in first. Yay. All right, hang on. Let me expel this cat. She's probably going to go wake my mom up too. Hang on one second. Sorry. All right. So we want to race. Those are just my little tips for, um, let me see if I can feed him an apple. I can't. So let's do the, let's do the Rivershine Ranch. Uh, the Rivers, oh my God, the Riverside, Riverside Town Race. Holy crap. Can I talk? No. It's too... Oh, the sheep are in the way. Holy Kalido. Move, sheep base. <laughs> like I said, you can compete as many races as you have horses. Usually you can do twice a day. But at 8 o'clock in game, it the races end. But remember, never let your energy run out. I'm going to say it and say it again. I gallop in between the, sm the smaller jumps and then stop back to a canter. Gallop through the longer spots. Don't let your energy run out. Pay attention to that energy bar. And then gallop. Oh my god. She's in my mom's room. She's my mom's cat. And again, you can you can take shortcuts as long as you jump the right jump and win. So this hang on. She's just whoops. Stop. I want to see if this Nope. See, he's glowing, but he's not glowing pure white yet. Okay, so it's this. So you end up having to jump over this bridge. You end up having to jump over this bridge. Then you take two jumps here. So far you're following the road. And then you have a jump right here. But instead of following the road all the way down here, jump down here, then you jump this jump, and then you can gallop. If you've saved your energy, you can gallop this jump, and then this jump. See, it's already almost 8 o'clock here. Um, so let's go back and get that other straw. And it will take you a while to um, get the hang of how the race is you know, with the, where each jump is, but once you get it, it's, it's super, super fun and super easy. The more advanced races, the intermediate for this one took me forever. And then I can, I can do the advanced one, but I can't win on it yet. And the expert, forget it. Oh my God. I tried the expert. I think about 20 times, and I was like, holy cow, you've got to be joking. What the actual heck, man? Because the ones for the town, excuse me, you go all over the place. Let's see, what does he need? He needs his jump. And endurance. Okay, so I'm going to waste the rest of his energy by doing some jumping. <sighs> Sorry cat fur all in my nose. Uh, you can do beginner, flower. Uh, 
So I could do, actually I could do just work on jumps. And sometimes you don't see the point, but uh, it's, it's surprising that it's generally there. And you can do these cavalettis or jumps in any way you want, any pattern you want. There's no specific. And another thing too, uh, when you're racing, if you end up uh, getting your horse refuses or you end up hitting one like this, don't, don't back up. Just keep going forward. Just hit the W, mash it however many times you want keep going forward you never have to back up ever like I'm gonna hit this jump watch because I'm not gonna hit the space bar so it pushes you back and then I just trot forward or canter or gallop however you want to do it for the first couple of months I was playing this I thought you could not gallop over jumps and then I learned it was just my my jump skill and my flexibility were low once you increase those sometimes, then all of a sudden you're like, oh yeah, I can gallop through all these. Cool. It's like I haven't noticed a point in jumping, even though my energy's gone down. But we were at 19. So let's see where we're at. Oh, we're at 22. So I missed those points. And see, whoops, where is it? This little star here indicates... That's the like max potential, I guess, for these jumps. It would be literally 25%. You can go over it, um, but um, that's not a. I mean, you can continue to use, like use the statues and whatnot um, on your starter horses if you get attached to them and want to keep them or breed them. That's fine. Okay, so we're out of energy. So we're just going to run back to the stable because it's 9.30 in game. The stars are all out. The dust is being kicked up. It's still spring. Okay. So I'm going to go to sleep. Everybody's taken care of. Oh, so cute. I love the stars. Actually, let me go up here and we'll do some planting. Because I don't think it's till 2 a.m. that they kick you, kick you uh, to bed. So I got some carrot and some other seeds. But I'll show you the... Um, so I got some barley. That's in the summer. We're in the spring. So you'd say, oh, you can't plant that. Watch. So I plant it. Then your fertilizers that you bought come up. Start with the shield fertilizer because it protects it. You can grow the crop any season. So I fertilize it. I'm going to put a lucky fertilizer on it. And if you look in the background when I do it, you'll see a little smoke. Yep, like that. And then the swift fertilizer and boom. It comes back up. And you can still, like I could put, let's see, I can put fertilizer on the ones that I did this morning. I didn't put the swift. Um, but so, let's see, my, da, 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 barley, corn. Now let's do corn. See, corn only grows in autumn. But if I plant it, I put that shield fertilizer, lucky fertilizer, rich, and swift, then I can grow it all year long. So let's grow some Milo for flexibility. And so now I've got my crops. And then I can go to bed. And that's, you start out with six plots. And then when they open up the pine forest, you can get more. All right, so that is our little playthrough for right now. Um, 
I will see you. Whoops, let's do this. I will see you all next time. Thank you so much. Bye. Have a great day.